Hello, welcome back to Twins Reviews. Today, we're going to be looking at how to play Steam games on your phone via the Steam Link connection. Uh, so before we jump into it, I just want to say if you enjoy our videos, please make sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. We've been trying to pump out more content uh, throughout the month, so make sure you're subscribed and that'll keep you up to date. Also, you can check out our Twitch channel in the description down below, as well as our website and things like that. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, firstly, we're going to go into the tutorial part of the video and then afterwards we're going to talk a little bit about what we think about the Steam Link and uh, pretty much playing games, playing your Steam games on your phone. So firstly, you're going to uh, go to the Play Store or the App Store if you have an uh, iPhone. It works for both devices as of making this video right now. So you're going to go ahead and go there and download the Steam Link app. It's, pretty, it's a pretty easy download, uh, very quick. And we're gonna go ahead and open it. There's that little Steam logo. Initially, what you're going to need to do is link your phone to your PC. Now you have to have Steam running on your computer for this to work. This might be a mistake that someone might make in the beginning. You have to be running Steam for this to work. So firstly, you're going to uh, go and select the computer and you're gonna wanna connect. Now, if you're not on the same network, the app might not notice the PC right away. So you could just do it manually by selecting other computer and doing it the pin way. This is the way that I've done it. It gives you a pin and then you have to go to Steam, then go to settings and remote play and just pair it by putting in the code that you're given on the app. Now, once you've paired it, I always like to run a network test to make sure that the delay that I will be having is not big. I've tested this on poor connection and I've tested this on really good connection and it makes a whole world of a difference. When you're on poor connection, I was getting like a half a second delay and it wasn't really a good way to play Rocket League, for example. That's a game that relies on timing. But when I was playing on good connection, I actually won a game of Rocket League just playing on my phone. So we're gonna go ahead and select the network test. Usually you're gonna wanna aim for the network to be around 95 M megabits per second or 100. Yeah, and you know, this kind of works as like a Bluetooth, I guess, for devices, or a, a better way to say it would be like a cast screen system for your devices, except it's to your phone and not from your phone to somewhere else, but from your computer rather to your phone. It's very cool. If you have a bad network, I would not recommend trying to play uh, games that require, well, any games really, because half a second delay could, you know, be the difference between, for example, you get scored on in Rocket League or, or not. So if you have a good connection, then, you know, this, this could be something you're uh, interested in. So let's go ahead and pair a controller. We're gonna select the controller option. And there's actually a touch controller, which is actually a new feature uh, compared to what when was, this was released, uh, I believe a year or so ago. Uh, there is actually a touch controller now, which you can use, or you can pair a controller. I personally like to pair a controller. I use an Xbox One uh, controller for this. You can just select pair controller, and it gives you a few options there. Pair a Steam controller, which they no longer release. Uh, and uh, the other controller, which I will be pairing. And you simply just follow the instructions of pairing a, uh, a Bluetooth device. For example, the Xbox One controller that, that I'm using right now, it is a Bluetooth device. So I simply go into my Bluetooth settings, uh, click the sync button on the controller and it shows up. So pretty simple pairing. Now, once I've got my controller paired, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly show you the streaming options. These are just the settings that you're gonna be able to change. I just changed only one thing and I uh, selected the frame rate limit to be 120 FPS, just cause I don't really want a frame rate limit. Now we're gonna actually go ahead into the menu and see what we can do from within this app. We're gonna click start playing and on the side there, you could see some, uh, some connectivity thing as we load in, we are going to be taken into what is known as the big picture mode on Steam. You're going to be put into where all your games are and you can pretty much select any game from there. You can go into the installed portion and pretty much play any game just from there. And that's it. It's just that simple. As long as the game that you have is downloaded on your, on your computer and your, your Steam is open when you do this, 
that's it and it's just that simple yeah and i honestly would recommend using a controller for this rather than a touch screen because it's just a lot more comfortable it's just better so i don't know it just works better i think so if you use a controller i think it's better however you do have the option to use the touch screen which is also pretty cool now let's talk about what we actually think about this uh this whole steam link thing because uh previously steam actually released the steam link uh portable device which could be linked to the to a tv which pretty much acted as the same thing. They do not release that anymore. We do have that uh, as a as a thing that we bought a long time ago, uh, but that is not a thing and it was replaced by this. And actually, I'm going to say that this is pretty great, even though you might not find as many opportunities that you're like, oh yeah, I want to play some Steam games on my phone. It's always a great option to have if you just want to kick back on the couch somewhere where you're not close to the PC or you just can't be bothered to go to your PC. You can always play on this. Another cool thing that I found actually is you can access your desktop from the Steam Link app on your phone. So you can literally be on your computer on your phone. How crazy is that? So yeah. you can find many uses for that alone uh, besides playing games. Yeah, and you can you can play games as well, and I think that's probably what most people are going to use it for. I don't really see exactly when you would want to use this or when you would need to use this. Uh, maybe if you're like, I don't know, washing the dishes or something, and you need your <laughs> you need your computer with you there, so you just take your phone. You can't really bring your desktop down there, or you're in a separate part of the house and you want to show someone something and you can't get to your PC in some way, this is, I guess, a good way to access it. I, I really think it's something really cool. Uh, I, the concept of being able to access your device from, like, a phone is uh, pretty cool, and, you know, you can play g games as well on a touchscreen. While, while we were talking, we were playing Just Shapes and Beats, which is the uh, game, uh, it's a bullet hell game, uh, some pretty banger tracks uh, on there for music, and then also a game, uh, it's, a, it's a biking game called Descenders, pretty cool stuff. You can play CSGO on uh, it. You can play CSGO, uh, actually you bring up a go very good point, you can play CSGO, but you don't have that keyboard option, so unless you Bluetooth a keyboard and f that somehow works, <laughs> you can do that but you're kind of restrained to more controller games. And I personally think where this shines the most is at party games where you can have uh, like friends just playing it on your phone without having to go to your desktop. So I think it's a very underrated thing. Just to mention, as he said, it's probably best for party games. And it's also good because you can be in like a social setting. You're not at your setup and you can be like, oh, you guys want to play this game? And it's only a Steam, so then you bust this out and you're able to do it. You're not sitting on your setup with a, a bunch of headphones and monitors everywhere. And, you know, it's just a more social, intera socially interactive way to get to play some games. This is not a bugless process. So I've actually encountered a few bugs when using this. When, when you saw the footage of me recording on my phone, my phone would blink with a black screen once in a while. I'm not quite sure why that was happening. I'll try and figure out a fix for that or why it was going on, but there are some bugs that happen. Yeah, and that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be coming out with more content, and once again, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. No.